Good afternoon from Luxor. We are up late today because I felt right, I don't know what was wrong, whether a lack of sleep or what, but I felt rough when we woke up this morning. So we had a lazy morning and now I'm feeling much better. Um, so we're out to uh, get some food because we haven't eaten yet. That's probably not helping the uh, situation, but we're just going to grab something from the food court and then start the day. I mean, it's 1 p.m. already, so definitely not out in the morning today. But we'll take you with us. Well, we're venturing out for the first outside for the first time today. There's a pretty cool stretch limo over there, if you can see it. Jess is going to try and take a picture of it. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice day actually again. I mean, the sun's just gone behind a cloud, but when it was out a minute ago, it was quite nice. Quite a nice warm day in Vegas after the rainy uh, evening last night. We're making our way to MGM. I think we're going to get the monorail and uh, go to the north end of the strip and work our way back down. I'll uh, take you with us and see what we get up to. We just had uh, some lunch at Original Chicken Tenders. That was good, as nice sort of uh, quick and easy lunch that we can have. So we will continue on and show you what we get up to. We'll see you in a bit. First car we found on the uh, F1 car hunt with MGM is a Williams car. Pretty cool to see. We'll go and have a look around the other side of it. It's nice that they've got some of these close that you can get up close and personal with. We'll see if we can find anything else while we're uh, out today. There's a look at the uh, Williams F1 car in MGM. So also in MGM near the Lion in the lobby, we've got an old RB6 Red Bull. That's two cars ticked off the list. That's the car they were using in 2010. So we've just uh, ridden the monorail from MGM up to the Westgate. Uh, we were going to stop off at Sahara, but we made a last minute decision to get off at Westgate because neither of us have ever actually been here. So thought we'd come and have a look around. Uh, the My Vegas reward for buy one get one half off is what we use for the monorail so it was I think $22 including tax for both of us with a 24 hour pass so it wasn't too bad that means you don't have to worry about getting Ubers and things like that especially with the F1 construction so we'll come in and check it out see what it looks like we'll be back with you shortly so this is the sports book at Westgate so massive area probably even uh, rivals circa as being the bigger one uh, it's a massive place to watch sports but it's pretty cool found another car in Resorts World 
Not an official one, obviously, but... I like the fact that everyone's getting involved. Apparently there's another car in here somewhere, but we'll uh, see if we can find it. We've come over from uh, Westgate, we will walk to Resort as well. Gonna have a little gamble in here and then uh, move along. So we're in more resorts world and simultaneously playing all aboard. I've got the Panda one. Uh, Jess is playing Queen of Charms, which is Mad Theatre bonus. Three games. Let's see if we can get some trains. Oh, it's a big one in the middle. We're not usually a fan of these ones, but we'll see if it gets what we need it to. I'm guessing we need a big train in the middle then. Well, that symbols are clearly not too bad. Seven dollars five. not bad. Uh, Jess has put 40 in in total so she's back up to her original 40. I'm down to 21.76 of my 40. So we'll be back if we get another bonus. And we're back. It's my turn to get a bonus now. Down to 18.13. Three spins again. Looking for some trains. All of the pandas. Well, that's a good first spin. 1320. Screen full of pandas or screen full of trains would be lovely. Oh, another 580 there. Only a little bit on that one. Two to go. I do like the panda sound effects. Come on, trains. Oh. Well, I'm almost back to my original 40 as well. We'll make a decision whether we carry on or not. Oh, we're now back with all aboard. They're only 50 cent bets, so it's not very big numbers, but you never know what might happen. All aboard! Decent start. Right, one at a time, ideally. Oh, don't leave me with that. There we go. All the boys! Two trains will do. Let's see if we can get a chunky number. No, we can't. Oh, now it's looking a bit more respectable. I want a 250. That'll do, we'll have one of them. Oh dear, last spin, need a train. No luck. $18.10. Puts me up to $50 for my original 40. I'll probably run it down to 40 and take it there. Getting ready to uh, give up on this game, and uh, we've got a free spins bonus again. So lots of pandas. And I learned a lot of good about that. Very low so far. Two more spins. Good one. Oh, nothing there. One more. Wow, that was a bit of a disappointing one, that one. 
I'll run it down to 40 again. So it's still in Resorts World and we've managed to find the Super Bowl jackpot game. So uh, we're going to give this one a go. We'll be back if we get a bonus or anything like that. And yes, I am a Giants fan, even though they're doing terrible this season. But we'll be back if we get a bonus. But I'm not sure what. Just got a shaky screen, so hopefully it's a good thing. Oh, we just missed out on it on that one. Go on, keep going. Hey! I have no idea what clutch kick is, but we're about to find out. Get set for the kicks. We're ready. Now this should be a chip shot. Oh, let's go for the middle. He kicks it. That's a winner. Nice. $3.50. We're getting up. Oh. This should be a chip shot. Let's go. Right this time. It's up. Yeah. Good. $4. Oh. I've picked the wrong one. This one's from the 25 yard line. Let's go middle again. He kicks it. Oh, I missed. Do I get another shot? Oh, I do. Let's try middle again. It's up. Oh. Left. Middle. Middle again. Jesse saying middle again. Third time lucky. He kicks it. Oh. I guess that's it. 2295. Oh. Touchdown, big 2295. That was just a randomly triggered thing that happened. The screen started shaking and I tried to get the camera out as quick as possible. Uh, I might play it a little bit longer. Uh, we're down to the original 40 we put in, but see if we can get another bonus. Okay, another random one that started, the two minute drill. So it's basically going to try and encourage me to play quicker, but we'll see how it goes. So I need four spins in a row with coins to award the prize. See if we can do it. Oh, we got three. One more. Give me a number. Oh, come on, 
on the bar. Oh. Only a little one this time. No kick. So three dollars thirty. So we're at the uh, famous foods. Food court area in uh, Resorts World. Just grabbing some food. We've got some uh, cool uh, F1 stuff, so we thought we'd sit right next to it, enjoy our meal. Uh, Jess had $35 of resort uh, um, food and beverage credit on her card while we were playing, so we thought we might as well use it to get a bit of food. So I'll show you what we get. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Just eating at the famous foods. It was really good actually. I had clay pot rice, Jess had duck tacos, seen from the footage. Really good, and we managed to use this as a resort credit on it. Thought I'd play Chica Bonita, seeing as it's almost a maxed out major. Um, a few spins in, I put $40 in, a few spins in, got the free spins bonus. So, let's see how we do. $15.50. Back in again with a hold and spin this time. I've had to switch to my phone because the GoPro's dead. Let's see how we do. I'll find Jess for another battery in a minute. She's playing uh, the piggy game. I can't remember what it's called now. The Locking Link piggy game. Come on, here we go. Give me some balls. Ah, no more piggies. That's alright. 
put $20 in, so that's all right. Hoping this is a better one. Again, we're gonna go with the lockout feature. Oh yes, give me piggies. We can make them bigger, bigger. I'd be very happy. We can make them more bigger. The whole screen would be fabulous. Down to eight ninety five. Still on a fifty cent bet. Oh yes. Last spin. Any other piggies? Oh. $52. I am very happy with that. I believe I will be cashing out now. I lied. I'm back again. Lock it again. Let's see what we get this time. Another big piggy, another miner would be fabulous. More piggies, more. Come on. Another big piggy would be very nice. I'd be very happy. takes me up to 71.95 I will go back down to 70 and then I will cash out maybe back on the GoPro as I found Jess and she's given me a new battery um, we are back on the holding spin so hopefully it's a good one again any of the coloured balls will be fine for me if they do this one's got potential of mini 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 Minor, 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 and major, 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 even. So, that would be nice. Last spin. Oh, didn't save me. Rapid fire. 22.50. Puts me back over 50, only put 40 in. I'm gonna still play it for a while, I think. Back in again. And I, I'm pretty sure I just had Jess the other side. Uh, she's playing the Lightning Dollar Link now. And I'm pretty sure she's on a bonus as well, so you'll probably see that one as well as mine. Yeah, let's see how we do. Oh, there's some better looking balls. I did say the miner go past a minute ago, so that would be lovely if I could get that. Go on, last one, save it. Oh, he did save it. Come on. Last one again, come on. Oh, he saved it again. A decent sized ball as well. Say balls, they're coins on this one. Still mounting up quite nicely. Oh yes, please. Keep going, fill them all up. Oh, $10,200. We've got to fill one more square. Last 
cry. Guess he's trying to get my attention, so she must be on a decent bonus. So I'll rapid fire this one. $60. Nice one. Let's go and see what Jess has done. I moved over to play Lightning Link and I got the stick. Eight. Let's see what else we can do. Playing five cent Dino, I'm at 125 effect. I put in my $70 ticket that I got from the piggies and I was down to 2190 so we shall see. Oh dear, one spin left. Any, any, please, yes. Oh, I didn't even see the 1250 one. Yes, come on. Anyone with a word would be nice. Come on. Sweet. Yes. I mean, three squares left for the grand. Why not? One. Yes. I mean, I'd probably lose my shit if I won the grand. Last spin. from the 40 I put in. I'm probably still going to run for a little bit more. Chase that major seeing as it's getting close to being maxed out. We're back again. I'm down a bit now, but we've got the chili bonus. Hope, let's hope it was better than the last time. Oh, that's a decent start. Oh, it would have to be 10s, but it's all the way across. It's counting in the middle. $30. Not a bad start. Oh, oh, kings. This is looking a lot more promising. We've got a coin show this time. Must be bigger than 30. 42.75. The suns are showing up. Oh, balls, please. Oh. Two to go. Come on, give me him. No. Oh, last one. Last chance at holding spin. It's not going to happen. Seventy-eight, seventy-five. Very good bonus. Made up for the last three spins bonus. Puts me over a hundred dollars. 
I'll probably run it down to 100 and then cash out. So I moved to Huff and more Puff, put in 20, cashed out of the Lightning Link one, and I was down to 165. Got six hats. I mean, a gold. Just even one gold would be nice. I mean, not like that. I need some hats, please. More. Sitting at the bar in uh, at the centre bar in, in Resorts World. Got a couple of berry towels. So we'll give them a go, see what it's like. So we've uh, just spent a few hours in Resorts World. Um, we've just been sat at the uh, Crystal Bar in the, in the centre of the casino. And we've just been playing video poker. We met a nice couple at the bar. Um, we both had two cocktails each. And I cashed out with the same money that I had to start with. And Jess managed to cash out with $60 after putting 20 in. So we basically got four $20 cocktails and left with a profit. So pretty good. Can't complain about that. We're now just got an email saying that we have tickets to the American Express uh, area to watch the F1. So we're now hot footing it to try and get there because they just messaged us literally two minutes ago and practice starts in 20 minutes so I'm not entirely sure how they expect us to get there but we will do our best and if we get there we get there if we don't we don't right, we'll see how it goes we'll catch you in a bit it's not a bad evening though we're currently uh, racing through the Venetian trying to get to where we need to be we're still not sure if we're going to make it, but we'll try. There's uh, another car to tick off the list. We haven't got time to stop, but uh, we will probably be back tomorrow because we don't want to visit the hub. Uh, I'll update you when, if and when we get to where we're going. <laughs> so we have uh, made it to the zone. I am dying, guys. Yeah. yeah. It, it's been a bit of a trek. We got caught out at the resorts world getting the email. So uh, we've literally had to run basically to behind the high roller to get uh, access. But the sphere's looking cool. 
but we're just gonna hopefully get in now and uh, see what it's all about. So we've got into the fan experience. Uh, they've got practice on the big screen over there. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look around, see what we can find and uh, see where we can watch the practice. So uh, we'll see how we get on. I don't know whether we get a uh, grandstand or whether we can see the track or what. We don't know anything about it. We just signed up for the American Express wait list and got a notification 40 minutes ago. Uh, so we've run down here from Resorts World. So I'll show you what we can see. And then uh, we'll be back with you shortly. So we've made it to the track. Uh, the session has been not to be resumed because one of the cars has been broken. But it's pretty cool to actually see the track. There won't be any cars on it for a while, but it's nice to see. We will uh, hang around here for a while and maybe wait till the next practice session. Well, unfortunately the track's closed because uh, it's been deemed unsafe and a manhole cover's come up but we're in the American Express down fan zone so it's pretty cool there's loads of freebies and it's good fun so we'll hang out here for a while and then we'll see if we last till the second practice so we're on top floor of the fan experience now great views of the Vegas strip Great really, there's loads of free stuff you can get. There's a DJ playing, got food trucks down there, the shop over there. We're gonna go and check all that out down there now. And all this, just because I've got an MX card that I don't use, so. It's pretty amazing that we've managed to get all of this just because I've got one. So, we'll continue having a look around and show you what we see. Express hub, which Jess is enjoying looking at herself in the mirror. But it's pretty cool. So, an update on what's going on. Uh, we've got to half midnight. Uh, practice session was going to start about 30 minutes ago and they've just given us an update that it will not be commencing until at least 2am and they're hoping to extend it to 90 minutes so uh, me and Jess are, there's no way we can stay here till 2am and then watch an hour and a half practice session that means it'll be 3.30 before we get finished and probably after 4am before we actually get back to the room and we're not dressed for the uh, weather either I'm in shorts and t-shirt because we had no idea we'd end up being here so we're gonna unfortunately go without seeing any cars on track but we have got some uh, quite a cool experience and uh, some freebies from uh, American Express and hopefully we're on the wait list for tomorrow so uh, hopefully they'll contact us tomorrow and we can come back and actually see some cars but, for now, we'll say goodbye and maybe good night. I'll see.
morning guys uh, I wanted to give you a recut from yesterday uh, definitely needed doing because it was a pretty busy day it turned out to be uh, we, I woke up about six o'clock in the morning and I did not feel good at all I took some pills tried to clear the headache and whatever but went back to sleep for a couple of hours and by nine o'clock I still didn't feel very well so I, I as much as I hate to admit it I thought the day was gonna be a write-off and we we're gonna spend it in the room but uh, pills finally kicked in and we went down to have some lunch uh, we didn't actually finish getting ready and leave the room until one o'clock so we went down to the food court at Luxor and got uh, original t chicken tenders and a Starbucks I felt a bit better after having some food uh, so we decided to go with our original plan and uh, get the monorail up to North Strip and sort of work our way back we were going to try and look at some of the F1 stuff and see what we saw really exploring and we knew there was some cars and F1 uh, things going on so we wanted to see some of it and hope, hope to get to the Venetian to look at the Amex hub um, so we got the monorail we walked through MGM and saw a couple of uh, F1 cars in there so took some footage of that then we got the monorail from MGM we used a my Vegas buy one get one half off reward so it was I think it was $22 including tax for the 24 hour um, use of the monorail so we thought that was good value um, we then sort of ended up choosing to go off at Westgate uh, there was some good views on the way of the F1 track and the sphere um, yeah we decided to get off at the Westgate stop because neither of us have ever been there before so we had a quick look at that uh, and then walked over to Resorts World uh, we normally don't spend that much time in there but we'd like to we would like to stay there but we just can't justify spending the money there so we thought we'd spend an afternoon there have a gamble and see if they send us any offers for next time so we 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 both did all right we had a had a gamble um and while we were gambling the first little bit um jess got a pop up on the screen saying that she had 35 dollars of food and beverage credit so we decided that uh, we might as well use that in the famous foods food court uh, jess got duck tacos and i got clay pot a beef clay pot rice um, they were both really good my portion was massive um, so we sort of shared them both and with the resort tr credit that we got taken off uh, it came to six dollars so can't argue with that uh, we then gambled some more and again did pretty well both hit quite big bonuses on lightning dollar link uh, we were thinking about going but then we decided to uh, go to the crystal bar and play some video poker and uh, get a drink uh, we'd saw, seen on uh, the Jason and Kaylee's uh, coin show vlogs that you can get the uh, cocktails at that bar comped if you play so we decided to um, sit at the bar and uh, we, we were there for probably an hour and a half and ended up having two of the Berry Tales cocktails and uh, each and leaving with more money than we actually started with so very successful um, we left the bar and then literally as soon as we left the bar it was about eight o'clock um, Jess got an email from Amex who we'd signed up to a wait list for the Amex zone for F1 because I have an Amex card uh, she got an email saying that we had tickets Bear in mind this was 8 o'clock and the practice one session started at 8.30. We had to basically run from Resorts World down to the high roller to get into the Amex zone. We managed to get there in about 35-40 minutes which was pretty impressive. Unfortunately by the time we got there the practice had been stopped because of a manhole cover coming up so there was only 9 minutes of the practice session. So. Uh, we unfortunately didn't see any cars on track um, but the actual zone was pretty amazing um, for a free thing um, they had everything covered uh, 
we got so much free stuff. Uh, they had blankets, scarves. I'll show you the uh, the stuff that we got after this video, but they really did have everything covered. You got free uh, soft drinks. Uh, there was interactive things to do, plenty of photo opportunities. It was really, really good. I mean, it's a shame that we didn't see the cars, uh, but we decided to stay and wait for the second practice session, which was on at midnight. So we just wandered around doing lots of the stuff that they had laid out for people to do. Um, and then we sort of camped up and got a seat um, overlooking the track and just sat waiting for the practice to start. Um, then we waited till 12 midnight, which is when it should have started. And there were still no signs of it starting. We could still see like workers on the track trying to fix problems or checking it out. Uh, about half 12 we decided to call it a night because if practice started at half 12 it was going to be half one before it finished and there was still no no side of it starting and it was going to be really late by the time we got back to the room. So we decided to call it uh, and come back. As it turned out that was a really good decision because we the practice didn't end up starting until 2.30 p.m. Uh, 2 30 a.m sorry uh, vegas time and we found out that when we got back we basically got the monorail from uh, flamingo got all the way back to uh, mgm and then walked back got to the room about two o'clock and when we turned the telly on uh they had the sky coverage on uh, espn uh, that i usually watch at home and they were saying that the grandstands were being cleared and we then got a notification from F1 that, yep, all the fan zones and grandstands were cleared at half one for safety reasons. And the practice session didn't start till half two. So all of them people that paid for tickets got to see nine minutes of cars on track, which I think is ridiculous. Like to, to run a practice session late at night and not allow fans to, that have paid to watch it to watch it is outrageous in my opinion. I mean, we, we were lucky we didn't pay for tickets, but if we had, I'd have been fuming. Um, but anyway, we were, we got to back to the room just about two o'clock and then just went to bed. But it was a really good day and from, from eight o'clock in the morning when I uh, didn't think I'd be doing a lot at all it, we ended up staying out till 2 2 a.m but that's vegas isn't it right um i shall uh, show you what we got yesterday and then we'll end the vlog there thanks guys so this is all the uh, stuff that we got from the fan zone uh all completely free um so you got a, a blanket that's really good and actually did come in handy while we were sitting waiting for practice two to start, which never did in the end. Uh, we got a radio that you can listen to the commentary. Uh, whether it works outside the Amex zone, we don't know, but we're gonna probably take them with us today and find out. Uh, got a little bracelet. There was a couple of different ones. Jess got a slightly different one. Um, scarf, and then basically a little bag to put your things in. I mean, all of it was free. All of the drink, like soft drinks were free. It was popcorn as well. It was really good. So anyone that was that's going will know exactly how good it was. But I thought I'd show you what we got. Thanks guys.